All right, so welcome to this session. So what I'm going to talk about now is the design for my home enterprise network layout. In the last section, I talked about general uh, ideas behind the design, and I demonstrated a remote industrial site design of what I consider to be a medium-sized environment. So in this one, it's a much smaller environment, but it has all the components with the exception of VoIP that um so you could scale it up uh i do not going to use vlan in this environment uh, i do not need it for the amount of traffic uh flowing over gigabit network it's not going to be an issue here so that being said uh what i've got is i have on screen uh show my wireless connectivity there so, yeah, so uh taking the rack out of the equation I have the bullets that link to each other that I've demonstrated in previous uh, previous sessions and the top bullet here goes up to building number one so that's the um, that's up to the kids house bullet number two that go over, goes over to my house and in my house I have a UAP light instead of a, just a UAP um, and then in the gym, I also have another UAP. So in the gym lab environment, uh, next down on the list here is uh, a rack. And that rack has the PoE injectors for the bullets. Uh, it also has a PoE injectors for the camera systems. So I again have uh, unified cameras and I covered that in an earlier session. I also have on the rack there a USG, which is the Unify Security Gateway that is my main router. So my feed comes in. I, I'm, I live in a pretty remote area, so my internet is provided uh, with a wireless uplink. But that comes into the port on here, then this goes out to the switch. Um, so next item down, uh, I have an empty space there for some cable management. Next space down is patch panel. Uh, I've got a 48 port patch panel in place and below that I have a 24 port Dell Power Connect switch. The power uh the patch panel goes just to the lab building and to the uh cabling for the cameras and the bullets that are the um the head end here. Below that I have a NAS device, a 4 bay uh Netgear NAS and that is uh, basically my iSCSI drive or my Samba map drive uh, files back up there user files will be kept there etc etc I'll be going into that at a later date um, below that I have uh, Dell PowerEdge 310 uh, that'll be used for the web server and for my own cloud uh, which I'll be setting up in a future session probably Probably be doing that um, in the next. Uh, I'll be doing one session describing the environment I'm designing, and then I'll have another one where I actually start in on that. And that'll probably be the first thing I do is the web server uh, and the own cloud. Under that, I have another Power uh, PowerEdge 310. I don't have this one yet, but it will be the Open AD structure and the Open Samba structure. That'll be the Active Directory Group Policy Server. It'll also have the DF mapping to uh, DFS mapping back to the NAS box. Um, that'll be later on as well. Below that, I have uh, a, a what do you call a blank, a 2U blank, and that is just a space filler prevents airflow, and it sits above my main workhorse right now, which is my Precision 5400 Dual Xeon workstation which is what I'm making this video on. Uh, it's running Linux Mint, and I will probably be reloading it with uh, the new Debian, and uh, my most of my environment will be either Debian or Windows. So, Below that, we now come to two battery backup units, and beside those is sitting the NAS box that I built in another session um, using a Western Digital 2 terabyte purple drive. So that's my, sorry, I said NAS, sorry, my NVR box. So, um, hope that was self-explanatory and stick with me for the next session where I get into 
uh, my basic server design and how I want to set up the actual server environments. Thank you very much.